logarithms in the real world. Over the past 30 years, the active direct use of logarithms in math has gone down due to the availability and use of calculators, the availability and use of computers. Long directories of tables and reference books were devoted to providing logarithms to make multiplication and division a lot easier. Logarithms were used in slide rules, the computation tool that had enough horsepower to get men to the moon. The great value in logarithms today is that they are used to make a sort of shorthand or code to make extremely large or extremely small numbers manageable and understandable. Logarithms are especially evident in science and in measurement. Our sensitivity to light is highly logarithmic in how we perceive stimulus or input from widely varying sources of light. The amount of light from direct sunlight, about 100,000 lux, is 1 billion times brighter than the light from the brightest star in the night sky at 10 to the negative 5 power lux. Between the eye, with the iris to adjust to the level of light, and the neural signal transmission to the brain, human vision is able to adjust to span wide extremes in light input amounts. The intensity of earthquakes is measured by a number on the Richter scale, and the Richter scale is scaled to a base 10 logarithm. For instance, a 5.0 earthquake has 10 times the shaking amplitude of a 4.0 earthquake. Logarithmic scaling also gives us the measure of acidity. This is the pH scale. The pH of a solution is determined by a logarithmic function relating the hydrogen or H plus ion concentration in a liquid. Logarithms are used to describe sound intensity in decibels. The smallest sound a human can hear is defined as the threshold of hearing or TOH. That volume is defined as zero decibels. Every sound's intensity can be classified in decibels according to a base 10 logarithmic scale. Every multiple of 10 from the TOH translates to an increase of 10 on the decibel scale. For instance, a vacuum cleaner sound at 80 decibels is 10 times as intense as busy street traffic sound at 70 decibels. Here is a list of sound intensities. A normal conversation in a room at 60 decibels has 10,000 times the energy intensity as a whisper at 20 decibels. The light intensity of stars, planets, and comets is classified by magnitude. In 1856, a system for rating intensity was devised where a zero magnitude light source is 100 times as intense as a five magnitude source. So every increase in magnitude is a multiple of a fifth root of 100 and a fifth root of 100 is approximately 2.51. So every increase of 1 in magnitude is really about a 2.51 factor of increase in brightness. Logarithmic functions are used to calculate ages by radioactive dating. An order of magnitude is an exponential change of plus or minus 1 in the value of a quantity or unit. The term is generally used in conjunction with power of 10 scientific notation. Based on that power of 10 scientific notation, anything that is 10 times as much of something would be one order of magnitude greater. For instance, $1,000 would be one order of magnitude greater than $100. Log base 10, or log subscript 10, is sometimes called the common log, and why is that? As humans, we have 10 counting digits on our hands. That's one of the most popular explanations for why we use a base 10 number system. Maybe aliens in a different galaxy have a different common log than base 10. Maybe this guy and his alien species uses a base 8 as a common logarithm. On our graphing calculator, this TI-84 plus silver edition, whose keypad is pictured here, there are two keys that represent logarithms, the common log or log key and the LN key below it. LN stands for natural log and has the irrational number E as a base and has properties covered in pre-calculus and in calculus. Find the common base 10 logarithm of a number by pressing the log key, then the number you want to evaluate, 
then press enter. What is being calculated here is the answer to the question, what is the power 10 or the base? What does that base of 10 need to be raised to in power to equal 10,000? And so a logarithm is a form of an exponent. We see that 10 raised to the power of 4 is 10,000. This has been Logarithms in the Real World. Thanks for viewing.